What about Melbourne? I was just talking to a local councillor before John's story about this um, anti-Semitic mural that's been put up in Melbourne. It's now being painted over, paid for, of course, by ratepayers um, in the city of Port Phillip. But in the city of Yarra, which is sort of uh, in and around uh, Richmond, Collingwood, Fitzroy area, so, you know, relatively inner city Melbourne, they're going to cap speed limits there at 30 kilometres. You've got the head of Victoria Police, Shane Patton, saying... This is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Um, but that's where we are. And this is the same council, I might add, that voted unanimously to strike, saying they're not going to mow lawns, they're not going to pick up the rubbish. They think this is all about state government funding helping them to do this. But they can, they can march for climate change or for refugees or all the stuff that's got nothing to do with, state, with lo local government, mm. but they can't do the basics right. Yeah, no, they're too busy saving the world to, to do the basics. It's clear that these inner city councils, the, the speed that they would like cars to be travelling at was zero kilometres an hour. They, they hate cars. Cars are, you know, killing the planet and, and whatever. And, and this is just, is just part of that. The, the, the solution would be to vote them out. But we know the sort of, you know, the green voters and teal type voters love this, this sort of thing. I think the best response was actually the police commissioner, a, a little bit of ridicule and dismissal. It's, it's ridiculous, it's unworkable, mm. and ignore it. I, I thought that was a pretty good response. Sadly, though, it's coming in and I live close by there. I, I'm at 40 kilometres in my street now. I do not want to have to go down to 30. I can <laughs> run faster than 30. Um, Prue, <laughs> I, I saw this this morning about uh, Bethlehem. Now, Bethlehem is located inside the Palestinian territories. I've been to Bethlehem. They've had for, for hundreds of years Christmas um, nativity scenes and, and other sort of displays put up. This year, though, for the first time they've been cancelled. They've been cancelled by the Palestinian authorities, and I quote, in honour of Hamas martyrs. Now, I think this is shocking um, for Christians everywhere, but I think it's shocking that they're doing this to honour Hamas. And how obscene, you know, associating a terrorist group with something so sacred to religious people. You know, it's just appalling. And this is the sad state of affairs now, that people behind are hiding behind issues like this um, and quarantining Hamas from the reality of what it is. It's, it's so disgraceful. The whole world is doing it. You know, they're condemning Israel. They're calling for ceasefires. Whereas we all know that, we, that they have to be eradicated for the, for the rest of the world to be safe. So I agree with you. It's very mm. sad and, and tragic that it's happening, but, you know, it seems to be the way the world is going now. I might also add, in the suburbs of Turak and South Yarra, the Stonington Council in Melbourne is talking about cancelling Christmas because oh. they've gone culturally weak at the knees. Prue Get and rid John, of thank councils. you both your time. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Get rid of councils. I'm with you, Prue. Get rid of the states as well, too. Wouldn't that be nice? Save us a bit of money, too.